Oh, I remember when Randy had a harvest of sunflowers. Oh wait, no, that's today. But he's gotta rent a combine. So that's exactly what he's gonna do. You know he is. I don't know, he, he's got a lot going on. Cause he's buying the oil mill today. This is your Ovian Farms 27. What's going on everyone? Dirty Randy here. And well, we're in October, you know, things are coming along. I'm gonna get the dog fed. We got uh, all of our grapes harvested over there. What's up, car? I almost want to shoot a ball. Just, you know, we're feeling it. I saw it. We're feeling it. Oh, yeah. And you walk away. Oh, my. Nailed it. Oh, my God. You know, being out here now reminds me of when I had the hiccups and I nailed it. All right. We're good. All right. Let's 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 stop goofing, Randall. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, hop into New Holland here. Don't mind my uh, shaved head and face. Might have had uh, some friends over. We're getting a little wild. And, you know, we thought it'd be funny to shave my head, okay? And some of my face. I've been letting the beard grow. And uh, now it's, of course, a mustache. And, uh, yeah, they, we, we shaved my dome piece, okay? Uh, so don't mind it. We also dyed it a little bit. And uh, I looked like an old man. But, uh, hey, you know, if the boot fits. Make my way through the vineyard. Man, oh, now it's morning time in October now. All right, we're just pulling in with the New Holland here, and uh, of course we brought up the McCormick last time. I don't know, that's just kind of how it ended up. So I figured if uh, we can get them swapped out today, that would be very useful. Um, so we're gonna open up our gates here. One and two. We'll fire this guy up, and we might just move him out of the way, honestly. Let's see if we can back up our trailer a little bit more. Wonderful. And... We'll try and not go in the way too much, but I think just something like that should be fine for now. Uh, we're going to make a quick little sale to the farm store. We don't have a lot of product, but the price is pretty high right now. Um, so we've got a lot of grapes as well. Too many that we can keep in our storage, so if we can sell some in a little purse, you know, especially if we got some time when the price is decent, then, uh, you know, why not, right? That'll kind of just be a little bit more steady income than just one or two big bulk sales throughout the year, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Luckily, we don't really have to take them very far. Um, the farmer's market, actually, just right across the gate there, has our best price, so you'll love to see that, bud. Um, and I'm pretty sure the juice, I want to say, is actually... I mean, it, it, it is heavy, don't get me wrong, but I want to say the raisins were actually a little bit more packed in densely, so we'll go three at a time with these... And yeah, we're literally just taking them right through here. Wonderful. To our good friends at the Fami's Market. We'll drop them down and uh, we'll go get another load there. But that should be good. No, I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, just a little bit of extra cash in the pocket. We gotta make some sale or uh, buy some stuff today. Looks like there's only a couple. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's, it's not a lot. Um, you know, this is our last two pallets of grapes. And uh, that's just fine. We do have a couple of raisins, but we know that raisins are uh, less pallets than uh, the juice as far as how many equates to a full, you know, pallet. So we'll probably only have two or three pallets of raisins, which is not too bad. I'll take it. Get our raisins. <laughs> Grape raisins. Oh, get them out. And yeah, it looks like just the two pallets. So that makes our life easy. And just a quick hot sale in the morning, you know, nothing wrong with that. You know, we could even be saucy and let them know we're coming. Hello. Hello. Beacon's on. Be wary of Randy. I mean, I would be too with that face. Okay, let's pull up. We can go get paid. And then we can continue on with our day. Oh, thank you. Thank you. No. All right. Cool. Um, nice little $19,000 payday early this morning. You love to see it. So... We're gonna get our tractors swapped around here. I think it's like traffic backing up again this morning as it does. So we're just gonna move this guy over here, grab the New Holland, put him in his place right here, and we should be fine. I don't think we're gonna need the low loader today or the green trailer. So um, we're, we're looking at a sunflower harvest today. So we're gonna have to lease a harvester because we actually sold ours, I believe. Um, you know, it, it was old, it was small, dinky. Did its job, but we've just grown so much that we've 
Look at that. Again, big traffic accident. This town is wild in the morning. All right. Well, she's in the gates. Let's hop into McCormick. And the shop is just over there. We'll be taking the McCormick back, but we are going to be getting the shop to bring us up a uh, whatever combine we lease. We don't need a massive one, but uh, definitely something better than we had before. So we'll just pull up right here and uh, pop our heads in, see what they got for us. Check out some options. Hello, friends. Some cool stuff on sale for sure. I like this tractor. I really do. But uh, that's not what we're here for. So combine harvesters. Uh, I mean, there is the Rostel Mash. We could... Go with that. Um, what do we got for header pieces on that guy? Five meters. And just for comparison, 3,800 plus 1,200. So call it five grand um, to lease that guy. Uh, we could go a bit bigger if we wanted to, but that's kind of, that's not bad. Five grand. You know, that, that could definitely do the job. Um, we do have some other guys over here that I wouldn't mind check it out uh, as well and these are stuff like ones that could be kind of you know affordable for us this is also this is 5.1 so a little bit bigger than the Rossel mesh there um, but I wouldn't mind if we are gonna buy one going even bigger than that uh, there's this New Holland but I, I have a feeling it's not gonna be much bigger it's, yeah it, it is smaller um, whereas the case we have a couple options. We can go up to 6.1. So that's good to know. Um, but I, you know what? I think today we're we're going to try out this guy and just see how it goes. Uh, I don't really... You know, I, I, we're going to go kind of in the in-between, you know, 5.1, 5, 5 I think, whatever it was. Pretty similar leasing costs. So that's awesome. We don't want to run it up too much. 8,500. Um, yeah, that'll do. We're gonna go a bit quicker, just so we can get our job done. You know, at a, at a relatively decent time, you know what I mean? Um, it doesn't have to be too wild. We're gonna go 18. I don't know. We'll split the difference. Um, leaves it 400 bucks. That'll do. And you know what? I guess since we're getting this on a decent deal, $43 for a header trailer, we should just do the right thing and uh, do that. So, there's our lovely purchases. Um... I almost want to drive this guy through town, you know, we only really get him so often, so maybe we can get somebody to drive our tractor back. Alright, we're all hooked up early this morning, and we're heading off, you know, I feel like this is a really good deal uh, for this combine, you know, it's, it's affordable, something we could afford in the future if we definitely wanted to, so you love to see that. You know, less than a hundred grand, I think, for both, you know, this whole combo, this whole setup. Or around there at least whereas you know we're looking at probably double that for even the next biggest size up you know so stuff to consider we should probably take the long route um, through here I might just see what traffic does and bop through here like a maniac we got our beacons on it's fine I can do what I want class dominator oh dear what you doing? Just made it to safety. All right, we got the combine back, but I figured we should probably go grab some trailers. So we put the side panels back onto our bale trailer, got it hooked up, and now we got our shelves something of a train going. You love to see it, but uh, we did just park the combine over here, and figured we'd get started on our closest field for whatever reason. That's just what we decided to do. All right, Chief. Um, I guess we maybe could have attacked this from the other angle, but I think we're looking just fine. Look at that. Randy learned to drive. So I think we'll pull up just right here. We don't want to block too much, but uh, that's looking at just fine. All of our sunflowers looking uh, almost cryptic and dead, but uh, hey, they're ready to harvest, so I'm not complaining. All right, we'll hop in here. We'll try our best not to squeeze onto that field grabbing our header piece, but we might have to just a tad. 
either way, I figured just leaving it a bit closer to, uh, you know, where we have to drive back is better than bringing it all the way to the farmyard, because we don't own this guy just yet. Uh, we do have some other big purchases to make today, so uh, if it wasn't for that, then I would for sure love to get my hands on one of these guys. So let's get them unfolded. Alright, make sure this pipe is extendo, cuz, there we go. Looking good. Uh, no idea, I didn't even bother checking the capacity on this guy. Um, you know, I was more interested in, hey, what's happening? Oh wait, did we get the wrong header piece? Oh my god, I think we did. Alright, we got the shop to rush us out another one here. It is pretty big, but um, it is just specifically for harvesting sunflowers. Whereas uh, you can get corn and sunflower harvesters, but they're a lot bigger, they're heavier, uh, and they're more expensive. So this one was about half the price, half the weight, and I mean it can do half the jobs. So I suppose that's pretty fair, all things considered, but it works, you know. Um, there is the smaller one that the Rostel Mash can run. I think that's the corn champion that uh, we had very early days over here, but... Uh, uh, you know, I was hoping to not have to use that guy because, of course, we've had it before, and, uh, you know, he's a, he's a little bit small. Hey, the nice thing is if we run off into that field, it's no big deal. Nice. Nice, Randy. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll bang this one out real quick. Oh, boy, if we can uh, stay straight. But it's got a nice width on this guy, thankfully, so you love to see that. You do. We'll keep banging it out, not making... Uh, any bales or anything like that. I don't think you can with sunflowers. They're all stocky and whatnot. So we'll spray it all down. It should be just fine. Oh my gosh, the coffee is making me burpy. That can't be the last thing I say before we, we, we cut to time lapse, you know what I mean? But I mean, I guess talking about it will be. Alright, well, it's uh, it's a little around noon, so we decided to uh, go in, make a little sandwich, and uh, order some more stuff. Of course, the shop had to come pick up the header and trailer that we weren't using. Um, so we figured, hey, why not bring out a mulcher? We got lots of stocks to mulch, and uh, we could use a hand doing it. So we hired some help to do just that. And you love to see it, you do. Because um, that means all those stocks are getting mulched while we're out here getting our harvest done and then that's kind of a little bit of a double whammy you know um, it definitely helps out because uh, that means we can get our fields turned around that much quicker I don't even know if we're gonna be able to plant anything probably not I think actually October is the last planting window for anything and that'd be like you know wheat or barley or something which we're not too interested in although you know maybe having a little bit of extra for the chickens um, you know, we should probably start thinking about that, have like maybe one field 
dedicated to some food for them next season. Otherwise, we're probably just going to keep going with, uh, you know, making sunflowers and uh, maybe some canola. And, you know, who knows if uh, olives will get into the mix as well. But things that we can, you know, make oils from. Because hopefully today we're going to be purchasing the oil mill. We're going to be selling all of our uh, rain right to them. And uh, even though it's not the best price, and then I think we're going to uh, scoop in with an offer for the business and buy that up as well. And, uh, you know, we can get a little bit of our cash in our pocket from uh, their checkbooks. And then, of course, we'll take over the business and uh, we can sell the goods as well. So kind of a little bit of a double whammy there. But uh, oh, we missed just a little. I didn't realize this field widened out a bit. But what can you do? Oh, my God, we're missing even more. That's not what you want, Randall. But uh, we'll, we'll do a little bit of cleanup once we get our headland done here. It seems like our capacity on this guy is actually pretty decent. Um, especially compared to what we had before. It was like, it seems like 1,500 liters, and it was pretty much topped up on our other harvesters. So this thing, you know, at least three three times that, maybe four. But, oh, I just finally heard a ding. You know, I'm so used to unloading it, like, pretty quickly. But, uh, you know, well, there we go. we got to get used to having these trees here on the edge end. I do like them, they, you know, some of them are a little bit impeding, sure, but ultimately they add to it and we can work around it. We're used to tight spaces, so once we get over to our trailer here, I don't know if the beacon will be on, maybe. Either way, that's when we'll unload. And I want to say, this is the rest of our sunflowers. Oh my gosh, Randy, you know, if I wasn't making mistakes like this, it'd be then that much sooner, but really, you know, this is, this is pretty much it. Right. Well, there we go. We got a full trailer. I guess it was uh, pretty ambitious of me to grab the second one, but uh, I don't know. I thought we might need it. We had a lot of sunflowers, and that we did. You know, we nearly filled up our big trailer. So I'm just going to drop off our other one here real quick. No point in bringing that into town. It's just going to make our lives a heck of a lot harder if we have it. All right. Good to go. Yeah, this one trailer is like 92, 93% full. So you love to see that. We uh, we left the harvester over there. The shop can come pick it up and figure that out. We got to uh, make some sales and make some purchases. So this is pretty much what we've been saving a good amount of our money for as opposed to expanding and buying land right now or even paying off our loan, which is definitely something we want to be working towards but uh, between having an oil mill which we're going to be purchasing here and uh, obviously our grape facility then uh, we're going to be set up pretty good to have somewhere to bring all of our products to get them processed and turn them into even better products uh, as opposed to just raw materials and goods so that should be you know pretty good I think that should set us up 
pretty well. We can continue to do canola, sunflowers. We do have canola coming not too far behind. Um, well, I mean, I guess it's probably middle of next year, to be honest with you. It's going to be a little bit away. But uh, either way, it should be good, and we can kind of keep that cycle rolling. All right, I believe down here is where we want to be. Yes, oils, oils, oils. But just our grape processing unit has been making us some pretty good money. So having this guy as well is going to be better. No idea how much we're going to get for all this, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, either way, it's just all going to go back into repurchasing this place and kind of just really help take that hit off, especially with that 20 grand we made this morning. All right, well... 37,000 for all those. That's pretty awesome, actually. Just almost 40 grand, you know? So 37,000 plus, you know, the 19 we had earlier is definitely going to cut into uh, cut into the price of buying this place if we can find the, find the entrance. All right. Well, 80,000. So, I mean, I don't, what do we even have right now? All right. We have 223,000. So that's a nice view when you walk out the door, you know, in the evening. Let's uh, let's let's make this happen. Eighty thousand dollars. Point just. I suppose we should also check out. There we go. Thirty-five thousand liters of sunflowers. So that's awesome. I have no idea what that will translate into. I guess two to one. So we'd have like roughly half that in um, in sunflower oil. So like what between fifteen to eighteen thousand, something like that. So that's pretty cool. We'll uh, we'll see how that goes, and of course we do have some canola to add to that at some point. We're gonna be able to flip a UV out of here. I don't think so. We're just gonna go drive around because that's how we do it. All right. Well, that was a pretty successful harvest, if I do say so myself. We spent a fair bit of money on that, which I have no problems with. I mean, that's uh, what we were saving for. That was all part of the the Randy plan. All right, just heading back the heck happened here oh my gosh did our, our farmhand must have just accidentally gone onto this field I don't even know how that's possible because we don't own this so what the heck man I mean yeah he clearly cut down all the grass with the mulcher there what the heck oh my gosh um, yeah we don't even own this area so that's wild man I should maybe apologize to the owner there. I don't know. Slip him a couple bills or something. But it looks like, uh, I don't know. Let's throw the lights on. It looks like this is pretty well stockless, if I do say so myself. Looks like the mulching is coming along nicely over here as well. It looks mega dusty, though. Uh, I almost feel bad doing that with the Fiat. You know, almost want a cab because, yeah, that's one dusty job. Alright, we'll pull in here. And probably that can be the resting place for the McCormick this evening. And you know what? Maybe let's just go finish that mulching ourselves. I feel bad. It's an old lady up there. She's getting real dusty. All right. We took over. There we go. And, uh, well, now we're going to be real dusty. So. Oh, gosh. You can't even see where you're going. It's just a cloud of dust, and it, like, pushes up forward. If you go real fast, you can barely stay ahead of it, but my gosh, this is, this is ridiculous. We could really use some rain out here. I can't even think of the last time that it has rained, honestly. Um, but yeah, that would definitely help take back on some of this dust, because this is insane. It's insane. They do this. I'm just eyeballing it to see where is best, but I mean... Yeah, I don't know. That's just uh, it's a heck of a job, folks. Let's get it done this evening, and then we can call her a day, you know?
All right, just coming in. Looks like it's our last little pass. There hopefully isn't any miss spots. I don't think we did. I think we did a fairly good job there, but gosh darn, is that dusty. But, I mean, hey, the field is looking amazing. That's a, that's a nice view right there. You love to see it. You really do. All right, we'll pull up. We'll probably just drop this guy off right here. And the shop can come deal with it if they're making another round tonight. If not, I'll let them know. But uh, I'm not paying for it for another day. That's why I wanted to get it done. So we're in a good spot now going into uh, November. And uh, then the winter, see what the new year brings, you know. It's uh, it's already starting to get pretty cold out here. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens. But so far, so good. It's been a good day. We're making new products. We're making moves out here, folks, you know. And uh, I think that's going to have to be it. We got the dog fit. So, hey, thank you so much for joining me. Laughing at my bald head and my new mustache. But uh, we'll see you in the next one, all right? You take it easy. Stay dirty. Cheers. Bye-bye. I don't know. I'm working on it.